الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد و علی علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد احبت فی اللہ what are our priorities in the non-muslim lands in the in Europe in the US in Canada wherever we wherever we will find uh, Muslim minorities our priority is to spread Tawheed spread true monotheism to the people because this is what those who came before us did this is what the messengers alayhim afdal salatu wasalam what they did they spread Tawheed they spread the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the creation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wa laqad ba'athna fi kulli ummatin rasoolin in ni'budullaha which tanibu ta'gud that we sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and to call away from those things worshipped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reject a tagu to reject those things which are worshipped besides Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al kareem wa ma khalaqtu al jinn wa la antil al illa li abdun I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me letting us know what our divine purpose is that divine purpose does not cease because you're in a non-muslim land that divine purpose does not cease because you're in a muslim land but in fact you are always a part of that call to Allah azza wa jal and to worship him and him alone and that is being your priority in your life The only way that we'll be able to do those and meet those obligations to Allah is through knowledge, through ilm. The Prophet said, مَنْ سَلَخَ تَرِيكًا يَلْتَلْمَسُهُ بِهِ أَلْمٍ سَحَ اللَّهُ لَهُ تَرِيكًا الْجَنَّةِ Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to Jannah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَنْ يُرِدُ اللَّهُ بِهِ خَيْرًا يَفَقَوْهُ فِي الدِّينَ Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him knowledge of the, uh, of the religion. So, fiqh and understanding of the religion is a means for gaining Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love. Fiqh and understanding of the religion and practicing the religion is the way that Allah will make easy for you the path to Jannah because you'll know where the halal is and you know what the haram is. You'll know you'll be a source of guidance for the people, not a source of distraction and detraction for, uh, and a test for the people. This only comes through ilm, habitat fillah. And as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that the greatest and most grievous thing that a person can do is shirk. It's worshipping besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah hates shirk. And Allah doesn't forgive shirk. Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabi al kareem Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushrik bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna thalika li man yasha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitab al kareem Verily Allah does not forgive that you associate partners with him, but he forgives other than that for whomsoever he pleases. Letting us know that if we die upon shirk, if we die upon kufr, if we die upon that which Allah hates from shirk and kufr, then there is no forgiveness for us. So doesn't that also affirm for us what our priority should be? Our priority should be removing shirk, removing kufr from our lives, and adhering to tawheed and the tenets of tawheed on how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly and how to share that knowledge with the people, with humanity. And that is one of the greatest contribution, contributions that you could give to, to humanity, to your families, to your friends, to your communities and to the greater societies and to the greater world community. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal from His by all of His divine names and attributes to grant us forgiveness, guidance. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaytan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabi and Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.